Hello and welcome to Owlcat's Warhammer 40,000 Rogue Trader. We are restarting a new official release gameplay. Unfortunately, my Navy officer, Lord Captain, save file I accidentally deleted. Uh, for some reason, a bunch of my alpha and beta saves loaded in and everything got screwed up so I had to clear out everything uh, all saves so I restarted now I decided to roll at least for this playthrough a rain specialist so I want to bring you up to speed I did play through the prologue uh, just so we didn't have to redo that so we have our main guy here shadow coast I did change a portrait we are level four you can take a look at our statistics here and stats uh, but effectively, I am focusing as a rain specialist. So what that means here is that I did go and roll um, a, a soldier. Um, and here you can see my uh, home world is a fortress home world. Uh, that was really driven to get never stop shooting, uh, which is a uh, very key component to a range build. For my origin, I rolled Astra Militarium Commander. This was driven by ballistics as well as perception skills, uh, which is really helpful. My triumph, I decided to throw it into persuasion to make me a little more persuasive. And then my darkest hour, I took a hit to coercion uh, since there will be other characters that should be able to more than compensate for that. If we take a look at our level up here, um, here we just get awareness, uh, revel and slaughter, and then our special ability. I did do never stop believing. When all sacks never stop uh, shooting should be lost, they become um, uh, willpower divided by two, so effectively never stop shooting on buffing. Um, and now we are going to level up again. So I'm going to focus up on uh, ballistic skills. And let me take a look here. I went through and kind of uh, highlighted a bunch of this stuff. One of the things I just want to make sure uh, in my um, features is we are talents here archetype soldier rebel and slaughter master fortress world never stop shooting so this should be active and then we added never stop believing um, so we're gonna go back here and level up and then get on our way real quick so ballistic skills we gotta reset that I'm gonna come over here um, hail of steel I think um, at the end of the turn fortress world characters gain stacks never stop shooting equal to half the minimum damage so we're just gonna go all in on this now for uh, familiar kickback so for those interested we're, this has now been added never stop shooting effectively uh, gives us a chance to have or gain an extra attack um, that will cause zero action points. So one of the keys to our range build is how many times can we actually attack and we are stacking the heck out of this. Now while we do like Argenta here and you can kind of see how we've leveled her up. Um, let's click on here. Uh, you, you can see some of this stuff. I did uh, rack, and, uh, rack and Ruin here. Just uh, damage three soldiers or more, gain uh, 10 plus two times BS bonus. So we're just stacking our ballistic skills here. We are gonna increase this. Um, so one of the things is when we do have an officer, more often than not, we're gonna drop it on our main Shadow Coast character uh, because then we can proc or keep stacking the probability of uh, never stop shooting. So we are a little better. If you look here, uh, what's your origin talents here? Uh, these are all different. She, let's see, what are your features? Um, how do we tell in your summary? Uh, I'm not sure, Imperial World. So she's an Imperial World, uh, not a Fortress World. So that's all good. Let's get back to here. So what do we say? Ballistic skills, um, rapid reload. We're going to go ahead and grab rapid reload early. Uh, just to make sure that we get that first free reload, which will go a long way. Uh, Adira here, we are going to stack intelligence. Um, if we look here, intelligence, measurement of the characters, acumen reasons. Um, I thought, I'm just uh, checking this. Perception bonus. Um, 
I feel like well we gotta hmm I gotta think about this where's our perception what kind of stack perception intelligence it's not really buffing what we think it's gonna buff um, so perception can't, can't won't work against us and then here I am gonna go nimble she's not gonna wear a lot of heavy armor so we're gonna want to stack dodge so we just uh, dodge shots to the best ability possible and I'm just going to go with a thumbs up here on this one. I think I want to go thick skin. Um, let me see. Whenever the warriors attack, they gain plus one stack of happy center of slaughter until the end of combat. At the start of their turn, the warrior gains plus one. All right. We're going to go with this one, actually. And weapon skill. We're going to try to make sure we can land our hits. Output damage. All right. So with that out of the way, that'll kind of double as our like, um, piece. One of the things I just want to take a view at is... Looking at all of our um, show completed quests. No, we do not want to show completed quests. So, uh, needs a navigator. One may be found in the Navis Nobleite station. Uh, the void ship requires a new engine here somewhere in the system. The crew losses suffered during the cultist, so we need to do that. So, these are our errands. Companion quests. We need to talk to Argenta and then looking for trouble. Um, we're going to have to travel to all these planets here. So the first thing that I want to do um, as my rogue trader is we're going to head over here. Before we do any of that, uh, let me just, uh, where are you? Adira, Voxmaster, Argenta. So we're going to head over here and let's start building up our companions. Now, one thing I should have mentioned here, um, which we'll see here in a minute is I am going to be focused on Iconoclast and do uh, Dogmatic, so we'll show that in a second just for alignments. You had said you had a personal I request for me. Have a request, Rogue Trader. The accursed servants of Chaos who assaulted this ship took the lives of your loyal crew members, and they orphaned many children, including the progeny of the brave officers who defended their posts until the bitter end. I don't know what customary practices there are for cases like this in Von Valencia's territory, but in the world I'm familiar with, the children of such brave souls could expect to receive some special consideration. Perhaps the rogue trader could meet with the orphans. All right, make arrangements for a meeting uh, for a meeting worthy of a rogue trader. I will address the orphans with a speech. I will meet with them. No formalities needed. These are the children of people who gave their lives to the Von Valencia's dynasty. My consideration is the least that they deserve. Um, all right, we're going to go with this one because we are focusing on Iconoclast, even though it's not going to be impacted here. I will pass on your instructions. Thank you for taking my request to heart. Oh, we're meeting them immediately. Here we go. Did not expect that. So we're going to get into our character a little more. The motley group of adolescents do not take their eyes off you, gazing at you as if you were a creature straight from a fairy tale. Our indefatigable sister has been keeping an eye on these pups, Abelard glances at the gathered children. It is hardly the Scola progenium in here, but we have provided the orphans on our ship with adequate care and instruction. Argentina is standing to the side of the group. At your approach, she perks up and announces her voice ringing. Brave ones, the master of the ship has appeared before you, the one who guides it through the darkness of the universe by the Emperor's will. Greet your lord, Captain, the rogue trader of House Von Valencius. All right, smile at the group. Um, address, uh, your lord, Captain, greets you, brave ones. Deers keep staring at you. A girl who has remained close to her gentle smiles uncertainly. A skinny, pale lad tries to throw a shoulder of his eye and stand at attention like a soldier. Only a few teenagers at the far end of the row seem sullen and not particularly impressed. Orphan. One of the scowling visitors with a thin scar across his face tosses his head back and says bitterly, So what? Why should we care? Our friends and parents died in their dozens for you, noble lot, and you just 
give us speeches. Argenta quickly turns to the boy, a flurry of emotions flashing in her dark eyes, like she wants to both calm him and scold him for his impudence. All right. Um, so, all right. So address the group. If you have things to say, say them without fear. I will listen. The boy smiles grimly. It doesn't matter what we say. It won't bring our parents back. It won't change our fates either. We'll keep slaving away on this ship until we drop and die like our folks, or worse. I understand your grief and dismay. Your parents died. It's not an easy thing to go through. But they gave their lives for the truth, for the good of the whole ship, for the Imperium. Do not speak of their honorable fate with anger and disdain. Um, we're gonna... You, you heard the Rorg Trader. His words carry the wisdom of the Imperium. It's hard to say whether or not the words have it left an impression on the boy, but he nods slowly. Then he catches himself and gives you an awkward bow. Avalar gives a sign, and servants immediately emerge carrying package treats with Von Valencia's emblazoned, emblazoned on the wrappers. It appears that the Seneschal came prepared for any contingency. Alright, let's train these people up. we got to replace our, our crew. Let's uh, replace from within the rink. Are you guys just passing out treats? Argenta rubs her temple pensively. She smiles and offers a few more words of encouragement and leaves the bay. Alright. Are we... Well... Hopefully... We left a lasting impression on Argentra, Argenta's uh, little troop here. Maybe they'll come come to our aid later, or uh, we'll replace some some people. All right, let's take a look here. Um, can we? Let's talk to Argenta. Greetings. Alright, um So why are you sticking this around? This ship was targeted by heretical pirates, which means that my presence here and the assistance I provide to you are my sacred duty. Sooner or later I will likely have to return to Footfall to protect its reliquary. But for now. I wish to remain a part of the Rogue Trader's crew. Alright, enjoy your company, Argenta. I, well, that seems a little... We're gonna go, it, it pleases me to have a servant of the Golden Throne in my crew. May the enemies of the Imperium tremble before our onslaught. So they shall. Tell me about, about yourself. me? <clears throat> I am the Emperor's daughter and his servant. What else is there to tell about me? Gladly. Right. There are none more faithful to the God Emperor than my sisters. We fight against his enemies by the will of the Holy Ecclesiarchy. We... <laughs> I beg your pardon, rogue trader. Here I am talking about what every lesser noble in the Imperium knows. So what exactly are you interested in hearing about? All right, wait, bright, the experience. The Order sent me to Footfall. My undertaking was to assist the local priesthood of Drusians in caring for a sacred reliquary that had been there since the time of Parson Mr. Wayne, the station's founder. They say the Adeptus or Aritas are the fiercest in their faith among the warriors. It is. is it true? The Sisters of Battle are a fire lit by the God Emperor. They are the echo of his voice that travels through the dark expanses of the universe. We bring his wrath to heretics, mutants, and other enemies of humanity. We protect the faithful from the unholy and unhallowed. Sometimes with words, more often than not with a bolter. Are all the sisters as truly as false Even as you say? Even the novices, the Adeptus Aurorisus, are drawn from among the most worthy. Those who have taken the vows and become a full-fledged sister are the best of the best tested by trials of body and spirit. Yes, there have been cases when a sister stumbled or showed weakness, but do not expect to hear a story of depravity or downfall from me. Each such occurrence is a great tragedy for us all. Light cannot bear the smallest speck of darkness within, and thus those who have trespassed or shown weakness of spirit are given a chance at redemption. They are called Sisters Repentia, and may the enemy tremble before her. 
For nothing can stop a sister of battle who yearns to be cleansed of faults and weakness. Wearing nothing but robes, no armor. If this serrator in hand, those sisters who have once faltered find repentance on the battlefield. Their lives are seldom long, but a death in the name of purgation is a better fate than to live with a shadow in one's soul. It seems a little intense, but good to know. Once I had completed my novitiate, I was sent to the Calixian branch of the Order of Our Martyred Lady, assigned to the Order's Pronatus. The Order's mission is vital and noble. The Sisters Pronatus protect great relics of the Imperium. We guard them, preserve them, escort them when they are brought onto the battlefield or presented for pilgrims to venerate. And we seek out the relics that have been lost. Neither a coven of heretics nor the most wicked death world can deter Sisters Pronatus when their goal is to return a piece of the great legacy of the Imperium into the hands of the faithful. So that'll come into play a little later. None that I'm aware of, but the Sisterhood's orders are many and can operate independently of one another, sending their sisters wherever their presence is needed as deemed by the Ecclesiarchy. Perhaps somewhere in the Lord Inquisitor's retinue, may his path be blessed, my sisters perform their duty as we speak. I wish it were so. Even a single evening spent in joint prayer and training would bring me joy. Good to know. So we had asked if there were any other members in the Kronos Expanse not to our knowledge. Should any more arise, keeping them to yourself would be imprudent. It... I first came here when I found myself in need of passage from Footfall to a remote planet. But I imagine what interests you is not that first journey, but rather what brought me aboard prior to the pirate attack. That story is complicated. It just so happened that I... I made a mistake. In a moment of laxity, I was ambushed by the accursed followers of the archenemy. I was badly wounded. Lady Theodora came to my aid and brought me aboard her ship, where her crew attended to me in my weakened state. It all happened not too long ago. I barely recovered from my wounds when the pirates struck. Truly, the servants of evil know no rest. There is no place where we can be safe from their machinations. Sadly, they did not. Lady Theodora was in a hurry and chose not to stay on the planet. Her people took me to a ship while I was unconscious, and when I came to my senses, we were already flying away. Oh, how I pray to come face to face with those heretics once more, and it's bound to happen someday. Good to know. Just for, um, we're gonna, you know, in each episode, we're gonna try to do kind of focus on one character at a time, so we're happens, focusing on our gent off the bat here. My mistakes are my burden to bear. I'll find a way to atone for them. And well, the assumption is is that they'll come to us with maybe like a quest line to unlock. On one of the recently discovered planets in the Expanse. No one suspected that it had already been tainted by the filth of heresy. Had I known it beforehand, of course I would have been on my guard. All right, we can go to that planet. The path to that planet was lost. All the knowledge is gone, along with the previous navigator. It would take immense effort and resources to rediscover the route. The heir to the Von Valancy's protectorate must have plenty of other issues to deal with right now. Perhaps later, when the skies above our heads have cleared. Or what was it like traveling on Theodore's ship? I hadn't been here that long. Just one journey from Footfall, and the other journey, the majority of which I spent in the confines of the Med Bay. I can't tell you much about the first voyage. I was more focused on prayers and ruminations than on the people around me, or the journey itself. During the last journey, Seneschal Viserion stood out for me. He came by several times to ask about my health. He is an honorable man and a loyal servant of the Imperium. I think he is as meticulous in his inspections of the logistic systems 
as he is in his inquiries about the health of the occasional sister of battle aboard the ship. But not all of Theodora's people have earned my trust. <laughs> you know who I'm talking about. There is no place for Adira Tlas among the God Emperor's faithful. I'm surprised she wasn't in league with the pirates. And I'm equally surprised by how deep heresy and treason run in this place. I'm glad we all made it through that dark hour. May the day that follows be bright. All right, so as you wish. enough of that. Thank you for your conversation. We did a quick side quest. We're going to kind of come up here. Let's take a look here. So we have Aaron Surrend. New Blood. The crew suffered during the cultist raid and can be remedied by on Wrecked Minoris. Um, we need an engine seer and the guide. So we're going to focus on the guide. So we're going to open up the panel here. The events of War and 40,000 Rogue Trader take place in a vast region of space known as the Cronus Expanse. The sector is composed of numerous star systems, many of which you will get a chance to visit. We actually have to, though, go explore them and unlock them since we lost our navigator. Each star system contains objects you can interact with, so we're going to use left um, mouse button to initiate the event on the planet. Uh, visit Riga Philia, the prison planetoid. Unidentified ship. The guide. So. We're going to head over here. Lord Captain reporting the heralds of the Novus Nobilite continue to maintain Vox Silence. Perhaps due to Uric 5 being off limits to visitors. We intercepted signals from the beacons drifting in the orbit station's orbit. The demands are clear. We are told to turn the ship around immediately. We have also detected an accumulation of space debris near the station docks. Presumably, it's the remains of an interplanetary shuttles. Perhaps the esteemed Novus Nobilite house requires aid and therefore cannot respond to our Vox mission. All right. <clears throat> I right, contact the station again. I will negotiate personally. The Vox relays the ca uh, candid sounds of grinding gears and clicking tumblers. I am sorry, Lord Captain. The station does not reply even after an official greeting by a rogue trader and a declaration of your intent to negotiate in person. All right, scan the station. Yes, Lord Captain. The Vox remains silent for a while, but then you hear static and Vignus measured voice. The officers from the Augur crew perform a full scan of the station, but the information isn't precise. They note wave distortions of unclear genesis that are throwing off most of the readings. We were able to ascertain the reactor core of the station is still active, but many compartments are unpowered and some fully depressurized. The signs of biological activity are largely present in the central module, which means the station has not been abandoned. So the question remains, why are the esteemed navigators, heralds, ignoring us? Order the crew to commence docking with the station. We're going in. Affirmative, Lord Captain. We do not know what's happening on the station, so you will have to look for the steam navigators blind, dock safely, and may the God Emperor light your path. Um, the Nova is not responding. All right. So. Begin scan. I thought we already did this. That's interesting. Five. We will bring everybody. Here we go. Now I played a lot of alpha, played a decent amount of beta, but um, in doing so, I actually left most of. I believe this is technically Act One uh, alone. So this is new to me. I'm excited. Alright, 
right, we're gonna maybe skip the rest of that. I don't know if that was a bug. Felix or Celio, a tall man stops you with a gesture when you approach. Blood is trickling down the purely pearly skin of his weary face and not just his own blood. Two jet black and blinking eyes are watching your every move, and the third eye, the mark of a navigator's feet, is menacingly pulsing behind the lower lid of the middle of his forehead. Step back, or I will unleash all the horrors of the Sea of Souls upon you. Emperor, be my witness. To assist, brother, it was the Emperor's will that brought me to this abode. Orcelio, Velika Orcelio. No one has the right to interrupt his will so freely, brother, but wait, I recognize your coat of arms. You must be the Lord of the Von Valencius dynasty. Yes, I am absolutely positive, in fact. And since fate has brought such an important person into my abode, allow me to introduce myself. Before you stands Felix Christoph August, keeper of the station. So did you did not come to offer support to the traitors? This is great news. Having said that, you must understand that Yurik V is a holy sanctum for the house or Celio, and the path to it is only revealed to a select few. It pains me to say you are not on the guest list. Um, I'm looking for the Lord Inquisitor's interrogator, one Henrix von Kallax. Do you know anything about his present location? Lord Inquisitor's interrogator? I would, I think I would know if such an important individual decided to pay us a visit. I came here in search of a navigator, so you are coming with me. Uh, what's happening on the station? Where did all these corpses come from? Betrayal, a most banal thing in the life of the noble light. Don't you think? I was stabbed in the back by my closest friend, Theobald Orcelio, the second keeper of Yurok 5 and my mentor. On his instruction, my own people sabotaged generators, blew up their shuttles, and brutally massacred the loyal servants of my mistress. Most unforgivable. They dared to take her prisoner. Greedy scum, I swear by the throne's light, their souls will perish in the darkest darkness of void. Felix falls silent for a few moments, then furiously slams the end of his staff into the floor. The men men have captured Lady Cassie and are now torturing her upstairs while we idly chat down here. Help me rescue her or be gone, but waste no more of my precious time. Alright, uh, I still have questions. Alright, what kind of help are you talking about? I would never ask you for such a favor under different circumstances, and yet... Felix takes his hand away from his ribcage, notices blood, and winces in pain. And yet, Lady Cassie's well-being is above all. I haven't got many people left, and my wounds are too deep for me to act with precision and swiftness. But you, you may actually succeed. In order to ascend the Mistress Samer, you will need to remake a holy relic sanctified with the blood of the Lady Orcelio herself. This is the control rod of the elevator machine spirit. I have one part, and the other was lost during the mutiny. But even this relic will be of no use unless the elevator mechanism is powered. How do I remake the control rod? I have a phylactery containing the mistress's blood. It needs to be taken to the laboratory, which is located behind one of the reliquary doors. The most ancient of the sacred mechanisms will help rebuild the rod. Uh, the tech priests ceaselessly perform the rites of appeasement so that the machine spirit would serve the house in times of need. The fateful hour is now upon us. So how am I supposed to power the elevator? The station's main cogitator is situated in the guard room. Just enter the correct command sequence and the sacred mechanism will do the rest. All right, and why should I help you? You came to the station for a reason. House of Celia will not be able to help you until the current crisis is resolved. But if you aid us now, I promise we will reach an agreement that you will find satisfying, be it riches, influence, or the powers of our navigators. All right, so, all right, I guess that makes sense. All right, so what have you decided to send into the Von Rensius line? Um, uh, we're going to go with, it will be an honor to save the Lady Navigator from her woes. Felix nods curly. So we have the blood. You should hurry then. We will stay here, hold the line, and lick our wounds. Good luck, Rogue Trader. And may the Emperor's light be with you. All right. I always keep my options open. Yes, we always keep our options open. All right, good to get a multi key. Return to void ship. Examine. Just as I planned. A force beyond the mortal capacity. The face is twisted. All right, so we're dealing with. I always.
voice out right. of Echo Compared Pile. to naval service, that was barely a challenge. Hey, what's that? Alright, real quick. Who has demolition? If at all. 35, nope. 40, 60, Argenta. Sins hidden in the heart turn all to decay. The Emperor favors me today. Alright. Oh, what's that? All right, Lady Navigator looks pristine and new. Nothing escapes my sight. Always keep your eye on the prize. I'm restless. By the way, Use we did update prevents. our formation. So we have a tighter formation because um, if we actually look at our characters here, uh, Shadow Coast here has... Where's... Perception, 50 perception. Um, Adira has 50 perception. Genta has a lower one. So we have two. We have people kind of grouped close together that have decent perception. Let's go ahead and get the goods. Goods. It should I better myself through my service. These award shows look like they uh, uh, took their own lives, slicing their own guts open. That doesn't look good. Let us not dawdle. Oh boy. Stand firm, we must not let the miscreants of Foul House or sell you. There I will. For a horse or sell you. Or sell you. Be your downfall. Stand your ground. Oh my goodness. I don't understand. Are we the good guys or bad guys in this? I have no idea if uh, w what what side of this we're on. We might have picked the wrong side. I like, I truly don't know. I'm gonna run a gun. And go full cover. See, Revel and Slaughter, increasing those ballistic abilities. Oof. Don't let your guard down. All right. It's as good as done. Oh, we missed. 
That's no bueno. Oof. We are on hard, by the way, difficulty. Um, so that's the second to hardest level. And how do I see this? Difficulty, hard. So hard is pretty hard. Anything is? Yeah, so the question is... I am putting you out here. On it. it helps of... Okay, nice. Anything else? I'm gonna buff ourselves. Dodge and parry. Increase. Um... Follow my lead. I will right. do, my duty. Indeed. At your beck and call. Alright, we're just kinda slowly getting him up there. We have to start moving these guys over. Doubt is for the weak. Oh wait, that was our own uh, mistake. That's okay. Oof. Surely, stop it. Well, let me see. Can we? No, can do too far. There is movement in the Empyrean. Um. But of course. Can you make any of these guys? I'm not no. so sure. Fantastically sound approach. Oh, that was Victory is imminent. All right, this is a guard Medicaid. Let's see. Uh, we probably set up wrong. We, we probably wanted to range them more. Pain and duty go hand in hand. So we're gonna. The enemies of the Emperor will be undone. As the Emperor commands, I am. I'll do it. 
Alright, the nice, the new the AP. I'll see to it personally. Come on, let's please take this I'll guy make out. it happen. Never stop shooting, fourteen percent chance. Stop. Oh no. Character has lost consciousness. Their wounds have been reduced to zero. The character can no longer participate in combat, nor can they be resuscitated by any means. They will gain consciousness after the battle and receive a trauma, which can be healed, resting on the ship or in certain other places. Oh man. Okay. Understandable. What is this foreboding? Not the scryer's job. That is not my destiny. I'm not so sure. Alright. What? Was that you? Or anything else? Um. The healing is much appreciated. Target well struck. All right, we're taking out the healer. Oh, he shot his own guy. We dodged. Great. I will bathe this battlefield in righteous fury. They're taking out their own guys. I'm a little nervous that we picked the wrong side. I mean, I apologize if we do, or we did. We'll do. We're just stacking. How many exploit? Sacks two out of a hundred. But of course, darkness consumes me. We're at a tactical disadvantage. I took care of this one. I will do my duty. That'll give us a better angle. Faith without nope. deeds is worthless. Come on. Oh, Jesus. Now we're two down. I mean, this is hard. I'm not interested. It will be done. <laughs> Reduced to dust. Oh man, that was a tough one. Lesson learned. Um. All right. We're gonna collect most of this and sell it. Nope. There's gotta be 
Scrappy auto pistol. We're gonna maybe trust it. We can always. I thought that guy was gonna have something of more use. All right, we can we can go back and forth, so I'm not overly concerned. What is this? Intercepted conversation between security officers. Yes. Um, let's read this. Info. Tremendous honor, yes, but this uh, promotion will transfer the entire squad to the child's personal guard. Hello, God Emperor. Well, you are a shopping lad. You will probably make it for a cycle or three. It has worn down better men than me. What even is the point of your brains turned into mush? All right, so. Okay. So they're talking about, I'm assuming, Cassia here. Rise to the top. Or get left in the dust. Oh, no, no. Major, a good major demo attempts to nurture only the finest flowers in the garden. Um, all right, we'll collect that. I always have a backup plan. Data crypt H. Is that, is that a piece we need? Always keep your eye on the prize. All right, and there's some stuff over there. So we are going to, I'm looking at the time here, uh, mutated flesh sample. Not sure what we're gonna do with that. Meteorite chunk. Ripper auto pistol. Okay, so. We we're defending this. I don't know if it matters what door we go through. Alright, heavy door is secured. Is there so money to be made? That makes that easier. What a peculiar yep. thing. The Emperor sets my path. Never doubt Let me. us not dawdle. Navigator flesh sample. The crew continues to mourn Lady Theodora. I fear it may affect the performance of their duties in service of the Lord Captain. In his service will they find strength and fortitude. Bonus to persuasion. All right. We have 35. Bonus to tech use. Okay. Who had 35? You do? Uh, um. Now we're going to put you. And here, you're going to be our tech user. Oh, come on. Keep your wits about you. Cast your eye there. All right, I'm glad it automatically when the faithful paused. Are idle. Heresy grows. <laughs> Duty prevails. Always keep your eye on the price. All right, that's fine. All right, let's see. Rise to the top, or get left in the dust. Do you hear the screams? Move. Sir, are you all right? We can't hear anything. What's happening? 
Now I see you're in league with them. Is this an interaction? Yes, indeed. Death to the traitors. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oof. I know you're all traitors. Traitors, all of you. They told me the whispers. Hey, who are you? Can we... Can we interact? All right. Let us know, Dordal. I guess we uh, we shot him. Data decryptor. I always have a backup plan. All right, we're gonna call this an episode here pretty shortly. But if you are interested in watching more of this playthrough, please be sure keep her Theobald graciously. Info. I always keep you are interested open. in watching more please be sure to drop a thumbs up and comment thanks so much for watching and hope to see you in future episodes we're going to continue to work to free uh, the uh, navigator to help us continue our journey hope to see you in future videos shadow coast out